I want to rise to also contribute on the judgment on NGCDF, Mr. Speaker, and to say that we cannot overemphasize the importance of NGCDF in our constituencies, Mr. Speaker. There is this notion among many people that NGCDF is pocket change for members of parliament. I want to say without fear or favor that if there is one fund that there is accountability for, it is NGCDF. NGCDF goes to the constituency with an AIE with what it is supposed to do and the money follows that AIE. And so even when auditors come to the ground, Mr. Speaker, they have to go and see whether that classroom has been built. They have to go and see whether that police station has been built. They have to see whether that child has gotten bursary. And that is the truth on the ground, Mr. Speaker. And if there is anybody who thinks that there is a member of parliament who is misusing this money, Mr. Speaker, we have investigative bodies, Mr. Speaker, which we should go and follow up on those monies and that member of parliament, Mr. Speaker. But we cannot be blanketly be condemned to be corrupt that NGCDF is our money, Mr. Speaker, when that is not the point, Mr. Speaker. We can also not be a house of lamentation. We are the ones who make the laws in this house, Mr. Speaker. We will not wait for an ad report to entrench NGCDF in the Constitution. We should extract NGCDF from NADCO reports so that we bring it to this House as a standalone issue to be entrenched in the Constitution, Mr. Speaker. Because we might wait for NADCO reports until God knows the two years are over, the 13th Parliament should be remembered as the House that entrenched NGCDF in the Constitution, Mr. Speaker, so that this cannot be a ping-pong, ping-pong game, depending on who is on the bench, Mr. Speaker. The second issue, the hate that Honorable Junette has talked about is true. People just generally hate members of parliament. And so I wouldn't even be surprised, after it has been entrenched in the Constitution, the judiciary saying it is unconstitutionally inside the Constitution, Mr. Speaker, because of just the hate people have uh, towards members of parliament, Mr. Speaker. To conclude, I want to say this now that I'm on the floor, Mr. Speaker, to remind the executive, Mr. Speaker, that there is one uh, cabinet secretary position which has not been filled in this country, Mr. Speaker. We are.